Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time I was running a bit around, I looked at the Temple of Good Hope. Good Hunt, Good Hunt, not Hope. And did some logistics stuff in my empire or in the crusade is um today um in between episodes i did some sleeping and we went back to dresden and now let's manage the crusade Hey, Rachel. Hey, wait, what? Even more of these armies running around. Ah, an important inspection. A group of officials from Nerosian is on its way to Dresden. They want to inspect how well the crusade is organized. What kind of welcome should we they receive? Hmm. A cold? <laughs> It's 4,000 leadership experience points. Interesting. A lavish finance points income increased by 30. Interesting. What does this do? Leadership up. This does uh, show things as they are. Finance points income increased by 30. Adds 3,000 diplomacy experience points. Interesting, why should I do this if this is more or less the same plus diplomacy points? Bring the officials to the front lines. Finance points income increased by 30 at, at 600 military experience points. Okay, we so one of these two and um, I think we will take the military points because diplomatically we are quite good. Yeah, we are already level four. I mean, we are already level three in military, so it's okay as well. But military, we are behind diplomacy, so we will take the military points. Oh, wait, how much finance points do we get? 1560 per day so it's yeah it's not that much of a of an input and this would give us 4000 leadership leadership is also good we are behind leadership a lot because there is nothing to do in leadership there are no things in leadership so that's probably even to consider nah not really 4,000 points, it's just, it's just a frag. I mean, if it would give me rank 3, I would, I would think. So it's, it's too little. Yeah. Let's take this last one. Okay. There is nothing here, is it? What's this? What did I do? Last inspection, permanent. Ah. Yeah, this was good that we did this. Things are much less expensive now. I'm not sure. Can we build in in Canabras also some things? Oh no. It's not possible to build something in Canabras. 
only these things. Supply center in. Oh, wait. Why couldn't we do the in up there? <clears throat> Ah, only if there are no recruitment growth in the fort and we built the, uh... yeah. I see. In and supply center. Yeah, because it's in the backyard. In the back of the of the land. Manage the key. Wait, what? No. Ugh. Stupid me. I wanted to look at it, not to. We have a supply center and an inn. So we could build a hospital there. And an alchemist laboratory as well. So every of this force have have buildings inside. We have already a teleportation circle, that's good. We probably can build the teleportation circles only in... Um, big cities. Not in forts. So we'll have to expand Probably. Okay, um, there was a quest I can do here. I'm not sure. Anivia, let's talk to Anivia. Nope. Thanks. Talk to Rachel. Is there something new? Nope. How about Melies? Nope. And how about the Beth? It also it turns out that the Queen has a head counterintelligence. I wonder why. What's the Eagle Watch doing in Canabras? Hmm. No. It told me there was something. Ah, probably the. The thing that we did, the decision that we had to make. Yep. Okay. Yep. Night gamblers, the burden of the Aeon Dread. I don't know how to to do these. This is a conspiracy of 
silence. Who is? I mean, let's move to the inn and then they're out, so we can talk to a few people more. If we find something new out. Ah, this was stupid. I should have left. I should only do this in the episode. This is so stupid. Come on, computer. Don't waste my time. This reminds me of the old times when I had the uh, old Commodore 64. <laughs> there were games that were quite sophisticated and good, but um, they took sometimes like 10 to 20 minutes to load things. It was great. Really great. Um. There's a peasant, there's the one-eyed devil. Oh, we probably can sell this up there. Want to buy some nail clippings? Why not? Show me the money first. Okay, show me your wares. Let's not plant anything. He's got really strange stuff we probably can also sell the torches i mean we are doing more than enough damage now <laughs> Are there some scrolls we really don't need, like scroll of peace? No. No. Arrow of law. Bane. We really don't use that. Glass weapon. Blink. Could be interesting. Fire bellies. We really don't use that. Ah, this could be interesting if we have to fight someone um, invisible. Firestorm sounds nice. Fairy fire <laughs> sounds like it doesn't do anything. Let's let's get rid of it. Enlarge person is good. Dispel magic point. Eh, probably we don't really need that. I really don't use that gross touch. Let's keep it cast away. Nah. Burning hands. Don't shake. Do we need the inflict wounds thing? Inflict light wounds on us. Interesting. We could try it out sometimes. I don't think I have a good idea. Really. Mage armor could be interesting. <clears throat> Molten orb as well. Yeah, the protection scrolls are good. We keep them. What's this? Remove sickness. Well, probably not all of them. No. Let's keep five or something. More resistance spells, restoration spells, of course we'll keep them. Watching rain, no, not really. What's this? Uh, sense white. 
do I really need that? No. That's okay. Shield of faith. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's sell. We also have a lot of potions because we don't need them. Like the Invictus potions. Um, stupid, I didn't sell the non-usable stuff. Jewelry artisan. Hmm. So, okay, there is one person who is, like, glowing. I'd like to know more about you. We talked with her before. Was hunting a fugitive as a scarite by the name of Kales. Ah, that's this guy. It pains me to admit that I, I have no more questions. Interesting. I mean, he's. I was right, trusting Kales some more than him. I mean, look at him. He's obviously not a good person. So where are we? Right here, in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Let's move here. Who's CL? Did we talk to him before? Where did your boy Morvec go? Pain shines in the old man's eyes. His fuzzy grey hair is dirty and hung, hangs down in unkempt strands, sighs heavily. He ran away, packed his things in the dead of night and disappeared. Must have gone to find some demons to fight. He is a Khalid. His entire clan are blood enemies of demons. They also worship the god Gorum. Did you see the straw wolf hanging from his neck? It's that clan talisman. It's called the Little Fang. Okay. I put in so much effort to get him to see the light of Iomide, but he invited his loyalty to Gorum with his mother's milk. I told him, you can't fight the darkness if you're guided by anger. If rage overwhelms you, you can't. You will either perish or become a villain, or get so used to war that you'll forget what it's like to live as a human. But he only had one thing on his mind, vengeance, for his family, for his ancestors, for his wounded honor. Hey, we got another quest. Hey, I tried to find him. They say he's been going to the tavern a lot recently. Everbright crusaders don't go to taverns. We keep ourselves clean, body and spirit. But Morvik didn't go there to drink or play dice. He was looking for a guide, and he found one, a Khalid too, an old one, a descendant of the Sarkorians. Even the demons couldn't force them out of these lands. Search the area around Winter Sun Village. Okay, have to go. Good, 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 good. Yeah, well, paid off. To do some talking. Yeah, let's move out of the town. It's too, uh, too stupid. I will probably stop for today. Because until we are there, it will take some time. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, next time we will have some action again. I will go to the action in between episodes. Until then, I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Bye.